afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Easy, and then I'm just talking about. I'm gonna just talk about what we're doing at Mask, cause like, um, someone uh, like you, you may not know like what Mask is, but uh, I'm gonna just like do a really brief introduction of what we're doing and then why we're like you know sponsoring a lot of like on-chain game and then what we're really working on to like lower the barrier into the autonomous world. So uh, a little bit about me and the Mask. Well, um, I'm the co-founder of CTO and Mask Network. Um, our like first product is like Mask Network. Well, it used to be like called Maskbook, um, but because like we only want to like put a mask on Facebook to protect users' privacy and then you know data and identity on the internet. But we got sued, so we just like changed back to change to another name, Mask Network. Uh, it's a browser extension. You can use it to like encrypt and then uh, share any like you know content on social medias like Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we also have a tester queue, which is like a mobile input method that you can like you know uh, it, it works the same thing. It's like it, it's based on PGP, and then you can just like use it to encrypt the messages while you are using in the instant messaging apps like anything like Messenger, Telegram, Signal. It's end-to-end uh, -end encrypted, so you don't really have to worry about you know data privacy in those like social medias or instant matching apps. We do have like uh, some other apps like Twitter, which is a third party Twitter client. Uh, it doesn't work anymore because Twitter has shut it down, the API. Uh, we also have like NextID, which is like uh, the identity protocol we have been working on. Uh, I, I have to say like the core of Mask, it's never about like, you know, working on a like front end application because like the core of like protecting user privacy and data and identity is always like about that. Uh, it's always about the, the identity. Because if you don't really have a, like a better or like you know uh, more uh, sovereign, uh, sovereign, a uh, sovereign like focus identity, you can never achieve uh, data privacy under the internet because it doesn't work. Um, and I'm, I'm also gonna talk a lot about about like what what it really is and uh, how it could help uh, in the autonomous world. And we also have Firefly. It's a integrated timeline social app, so you can like browse any like you know social media, uh, centralized ones and then decentralized ones in one app in the same timeline. Um, I'm also like a researcher at the China Academy of Arts uh, uh, at the Institute of uh, Network Society. Uh, basically, we care about like how social uh, soci the society and the network are you know progressing together to make a better world. Um, and if you're interested, you can check out all the links here. Um, so if you really want me to like conclude what we're doing and then or like what we really care about in two words, it's going to be privacy and security. Uh, we we want people to come into the uh, like Web two. Oh, sorry, sorry Web three. Uh, but we self regard that as as like the bridge from like Web two to Web three. But we cannot just accept a Web three without like privacy and security, which is like you know the core of word, what we are doing and what could should be the backbone of Web3. Um, so um, just to talk about like what Mask and uh, all our like, you know, uh, products are doing and then how it could help uh, as a like combined scheme to like better help like people into the autonomous world. So basically in Mask, uh, as I said, uh, the core like feature of it is the identity. So we call it persona. Uh, uh, it's like uh, you can use a private public key pair, which is not like a wallet, and then you use it to you know encrypt like di uh, like you know digital contents where you are posting on Facebook and Twitter, uh, and then you can use like uh, all the others like public keys to encrypt to them. Uh, this is cannot be achieved without a like a you know uh, without a key. Um, we also have like smart contract wallets because like. Uh, we want people to use, um, you know, like Web3 applications, but most of the people don't really have enough like knowledge or, you know, like uh, enough knowledge to control and manage private keys. So uh, we just want people to like control one key at the same time. Um, so uh, we help them, well, it's, a, it's still in beta, but we help them like, you know, create a smart contract wallet uh, based on like uh, ERC4337. So that they can, you know, you know, use this like it's uh, controlled by persona, and then we will airdrop them like you know two to five masks to pay for their gas fees. It's more like a trial wallet so that people can 
Well, if you are a newbie to Web3, I mean, like, I'm not too sure about like uh, the uh, Europe, but in a lot of the other countries, it's super hard to OT or get your first like native tokens. So we want to like help people because we have wallets, we have like our own token, so we can airdrop them just to pay for their like first a few transactions. If they like it, they can definitely just you know um, like uh, find a way to uh, like OTC or like get native tokens. But if they don't, they can just regard it as a gift from us. We also have like th this like NPC controlled persona so that they can use like an email address to like to create a persona. So that so that they don't really have to you know worry about like managing the key, private keys anymore. But this is still linking beta. Uh, we don't really want to like you know publish like broadly because it's still like debatable, uh, especially internally. But I guess it's a, a super useful uh, tool to onboard new users. And this is how like you know encryptions works in Mask. If you guys are interested, I can just like share the slides later. But we have limited time, so just like, well, it's basically just like just like PGP. It's pretty simple, uh, but it's uh, like it works so well. We don't really want to like create a really complicated protocol. We just want to keep it simple. And then and next ID. Well, uh, since we're all social medias, uh, we don't really want people to use their public keys as their identifier to to social, right? Because I, I may not I may know you like your Twitter account or Twitter handle, but I don't really know your public key. We don't really want to remember that. So we have this like protocol which is embedded in Mask, uh, but now as a as a stand up, a standalone project or a protocol to help other, all, all the other projects. So basically, it's just like uh, we can use the next ID to bind identities together with an avatar or like persona. We just rebrand it. Uh, it's like permissionless. Uh, all the bindings are just uh, bidirectionally, uh, bidirectional signings signatures. Uh, for example, if you wanna like bind your persona with your like you know any like Web3 wallets, it's just like you need to sign both ways to prove you're the owner of like both like uh, wallets or both like public keys. And uh, you can also like bind your persona with your like Web2 account. Like you can just sign one way with your persona's private key, and in the other way you just like. You, you, Cause like you need to prove you're the owner of that account. So I want to do just like do something that the owner can do that that on, only the owner can do, which is usually post something on the uh, like on the social media as a proof post. So it's a permissionless. It's also trustless. Uh, all, the, all the bunny histories uh, we call a sick chain is like uh, securely st stored on both like AWS RDS and also RVF. So if you uh, don't really want to trust us. Because it's uh, it, uh, like stored in a like uh, centralized database, uh, it doesn't matter because we store every single like you know actions you have done, uh, all the bindings in Arweave, so that you can reconstruct yourself. And we will provide a script for you to do so. And then it's also decentralized. If you want to like run it yourself, feel free because all the database you can you can get actually you can get all the data uh, from Arweave or from our AWS RDS. So Anyone can just run this node however they want. So this is how the world looks like. So in the center, there's the avatar, which is like a private public key pair. On the left, they're just like you know different uh, wallets um, on what uh, like basically just Web3 accounts, if you say so. On the and on the left, uh, on the right, uh, there are like you know Twitter and uh, Facebook, uh, SSL. It's a bidirectionally uh, like connected. To uh, to the avatar. So if you see someone on Twitter, you can di directly see or know like what the other like you know identities this guy owns. It doesn't matter who he is, but we only trust math because like it's a, it's a graph, right? I mean it's a fully connected graph or strongly connected component. Uh, it's more like a strongly connected component. So you can just like get to know more about one user uh, based on just one identity uh, that's connected in this graph. And if we can just have this like graph ready, we can just condense or compress the entire graph into like, uh, like you know, interactions between two people into this. It's a, a like compressed graph, so you can see if you are like two, because uh, like a lot of people are talking about like souls, uh, just like two souls connecting uh, with each other with different uh, identities in different platforms. And uh, this is like more like a, if you zoom out. Uh, the entire social graph will look like this. It's more like a comprehensive social graph. 
it does it's just like not consisting of like only like Ethereum transactions or like Bitcoin transaction, but also all the transactions between people. So you can build a, a more comprehensive on-chain, you know, like social graph in this way. But it's just not on-chain at all. It doesn't have to be. Um, but we do want this to be on-chain somehow because uh, we're, uh, what we really want is like to enable something more in like a, in general Web3 or so-called Web3. So we put all the, you know, like all the, these aggregations of bindings onto uh, like uh, EVM chains with, cause like all the, you know, all the transactions where all the bindings are secured by like signatures. And then uh, our persona is based on a SEP 256K1, which is a like Bitcoin curve, uh, which is also using AVM. So you can just like directly verify all those like signatures directly on those like EVM chains. So if you want to take a look, here's it. Uh, there's this example. Um, if you query um, like my, if you use my Twitter handle to query, you can see like uh, I have this like Twitter account, a uh, Twitter handle, but also connected with the, these both like Ethereum wallets. And with this, uh, we we uh, we can see like potentially there's gonna be like small quite alone uh, that's possible for new users in Web3, because uh, especially we're talking about like a uh, fully on-chain game where like this kind of a new scheme. We want people to try it out, but we don't really want them to like worry about all those like keys, all those you know like uh, getting native token to pay for the transaction fees, to, to, to pay for the gas fees. So this is like something we really want to build in. But we airdrop them, or like we 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 give them the loan to really participate in this game without you know really getting those like native tokens, uh, which is like super annoying. And then we, in the end, we want to build a credit system in a transparent way because everything is like you know, transparent, uh, on chain, and verifiable. Um, so talking about like on chain game scenario, uh, if you take like Duck Forest as example, well, uh, Duck Forest is like my first like fo fully on chain game experience, but like the identity system there is like just like super simple. So it's a burner wallet in your browser stored in the local DB. And, uh, but I mean, like it's a, it's a great for them to, for this like p uh, proof of concept, but it's just like super annoying for users to really, you know, to control and manage the key. It's a burner wallet. It's not secure nor convenient. You cannot just like, you know, easily migrate to another device to play this game. So we really, well, like the, the good part of it is, is that just, it can help you sign seamlessly. You don't have to click, click, click every time you want to, you know, submit a transaction to blockchain but just we just want to try to help. Well, smart contract wallets definitely helps, but I mean like still like the uh, the gas consumption, like the gas efficiency is still like a super annoying problem. Uh, I do believe like smart contract wallets were like, you know, AA wallets, but whatever it's called, is super helpful, but not now. Cause still like, you know, we don't really, cause like for a gameplay, if it has like a hundred transactions, we don't really want to waste so much money uh, so much like you know native tokens for paying those like uh, transaction fees. We can have a better solution. So um, what I'm trying to propose now is like more like a combined s a scheme. Uh, it's nothing like novel. It's nothing you know. It's not rocket science. It's just like combined with everything we have done before. So uh, uh, for new user, uh, for new players, uh, we can help them create an MPC controlled avatar, which is persona that I, I just like mentioned before. And then we can like, uh, based on this avatar or like the, the persona, we can help them like create their own like smart contract wallet. And uh, with the on-chain identity graph, uh, as, as we said, because if you can just like, you know, put your social capital with your like, you know, financial cap or financial wallet together, it can be a like comprehensive wallet for you guys, for, for everyone to present in this like, you know, uh, in general like cyberspace. And, but for like, you know, uh, for like normal users, you can still use your MetaMask to sign in, to sign, you know, uh, different like, you know, burner wallet keys to participate in the game. But it's just like optional for, you know, like uh, the new players who are the existing players. And a burner wallet still like generated. Uh, it doesn't have to be like you, well, 
uh, we don't really need to like ask everyone to use the smart contract wallet because it's still super like you know gas con consuming. So a burner wallet still like generated. It's like more like a device key or a session key. If you use like Signal, you will know like uh, if you want to set up a new device, you need to like you know sign uh, sign the new device with an existing device. And this is like this key never leaves your device, and then it's just so secure. And then you don't really have to worry about like you know migrating this key to another place, which is like somehow use, super useful if you are like a newbie to this field because you don't really want to manage the keys. We don't really want you to manage it. So uh, this kind of like scheme is like uh, proposed by us. So still like burner keys, burner wallets are still generated, but you need to sign it with your like persona private key so that you can uh, prove where you can verify you own both. You are the owner of all these like different devices, and then if they uh, they are all owned by the same one, uh, like all the assets, all the game status can be shared or synchronized across the different like platforms and devices, so that users don't really have to worry about like if I'm playing on this browser, if I uh, like, and then I choose and uh, uh, and I uh, I'm using another device uh, if. The, uh, the the game status and the, all, everything in the game can be shared. In this way, you don't have to worry about it. All you can, all you need to do is just assign, and then just like everything. Well, this needs to be like integrated in the game uh, logic for sure. But I think in this way, we can probably just achieve a better user experience for those like new users into the Web three. And also, like we can, what we can do is more like. If you like have diff different device keys, but signed by the same persona or signed by the same one, you can just like you know share all the reputations or credit in different games seamlessly without you know doing any like you know you don't have to if you go to one like DAP you don't have to like uh, like use all the keys you use in different games to prove you are the owner of all these like game characters. And then you don't have to like you know you know worry about all these keys management. I want to do just like secure one key, and then everything well everything else will be like handled just by signatures by our protocol, and um, uh, it just like works like this. It's super like you know uh, well I use Merma to generate this like graph but diagram, but uh, I think it's super like simple because everything is just like uh, either like signatures or like. Uh, signatures for controlling all the different you know keys and then stuff and uh because like uh we don't really have that much time so uh you can find me on twitter it's like da israel is like my name plus a da um and also you can contact me with my email isil at the mass aisle and that will be all for now uh for today and then if you're interested in what we're doing I'm more like I can just present you with a entire like you know whole uh, experience like in an interactive way. Um, yeah, thanks so much for today. And then yeah.